It's midday in Nairobi, Kenya, a busy time for Enoch Gatangi, who attends to customers at his grocery shop in the Kayole neighborhoods. The Congolese refugee started his business with a loan from Rangers Family Group, an urban savings and loan association to which he belongs. I have so many customers, both Kenyans and Congolese, but most of my customers are Kenyans. The Tangis Rangers Family Group is one of 20 such groups that the International Rescue Committee Humanitarian Aid Organization supports in different poor neighborhoods within Nairobi. The groups are part of a program called Refugees in East Africa, Boosting Urban Innovations for Livelihoods Development, or Rebuild, a five-year project to empower 20,000 urban refugee businesses in Nairobi and the Ugandan capital, Kampala. The fact that refugees themselves have faced uh, challenges in terms of uh, accessing financial products from the formal financial institutions. The project had to define innovative ways on how they can get access to financial services uh, and also boost their economic uh, livelihood uh, you know, uh, initiative. Under the program, refugees and locals form groups of 15 to 30 members. The members then contribute shares which are pulled in a mobile money app account that members can borrow from to run businesses. Members say the project has improved their economic well-being. Before, we could not access funds to invest. But since we came together and pooled our resources, if a member wants to borrow 10,000 Kenyan shillings, they'll get it. If another wants 5,000, they'll get it. So our lives have improved since we came together as a group. Out of the half a million refugees in Kenya, approximately 80,000 are based in urban areas. Their participation in the national economy hinges on integration. When we focus on economic empowerment, we are giving the vulnerable or the voiceless opportunity to also have a fill and contribution in the national cake. The Kenyan government said the refugee camps will close next month and all eyes are on the authorities to see what steps they will take. Integrated refugees like Gatangi hope that if the camps must close, those who reside in them will be ready and able to live in the Kenyan communities.